everyone. <laughs> Hello, everybody. How's it going? Book Doctors here, checking in with you guys. We're going to talk today about groups, writers' groups, different people you can join up with, because, you know, writing tends to be a slightly lonely occupation where you sit in a room and type, write, think, cogitate, procrastinate. And it's great to have a group of people, a community, that you can share your journey with. We've been thinking about this because we just did an online Pitchapalooza with the wonderful organization NaNoWriMo, NaNoWriMo. National Novel Writing Month which happens every November, but which also has activities throughout the year. And this is really a tight-knit writing community, much of which happens online, but a lot of which happens in person as well. And um, we've seen so many people get successfully published by joining groups like NaNoWriMo that create the support they wouldn't get if they were just writing in a room by themselves. So just to explain, National Novel Writing Month happens every November. And it was uh, started by Chris Beatty, who was Ariel's client, who wrote a book called No Plot, No Problem. And National Novel Writing Month, uh, you're supposed to just write 50,000 words. No plot, no problem. And it's a tight-knit community, as Ariel said, with a million people in it or whatever. And they have local groups that people meet up on person. They meet up in online. Uh, they have tips. They're just an incredible organization that just helps people get get your first draft out that's the idea and then you fix it and then you you get your book deal etc and we are always encouraging people to join different kinds of groups and organizations for example if you're a children's book writer we insist that you join the society for children's book writers and illustrators fcbwi which has regional chapters all around the country um, and in fact, we're going to be at one uh, this in a in, in a few weeks New England. in New England yeah. for their annual conference. It's an amazing conference, by the way. And then they have two national conferences a year: one in New York and one in LA. And this is for every kind of children's book writing, from picture book up through YA. Um, but we also highly recommend writers groups. Absolutely, uh, James River Writers in in Richmond. Um, Wherever you are, there's a writer's group. You just have to find the right one. When I, whenever I go to a place, that's what I do. First thing, I find a writer's group. When I moved to San Francisco years ago, I found a writer's group. And one of the guys in it just was so talented. He wrote these, wrote these kind of macabre stories. And he was ridiculously handsome. And, you just, and he was a doctor. And you wanted to hate him, except he was just too nice. And you just knew if this guy caught a break... He was going to be huge, and guess what? He caught a break. His name is Khaled Hosseini. He wrote a little book called The Kite Runner, which was sold, has sold approximately a trillion copies. So when our book, The Essential Guide to Getting Your Book Published, was about to come out, I just sent Khaled an email. Hey, would you mind blurbing our book? And there on our book, large as life, Khaled Hosseini. And it just means a lot to booksellers and to book buyers that his name is on there. And he was just so generous to give this to us. So two quick last thoughts. I know a lot of people are scared to show their work. Right. Um, it is, the, the, we can't even no, find the words, words to say right. how important it is to share, to share your work. Because if you don't, it's just going to end up a file on your computer. That's all it's ever going to be if you don't share it. And the second fear is that someone's going to steal your book. Forget it. It's just not, not going to happen. happen. So you can put those fears aside and go join a writer's group. Thank you, guys. Bye. Hey, happy spring. Bye. Of course. Sorry, I'm trying to get the dog to stop, uh, stop eating the bone. Anyway, uh, they get the, the that they get the support that they need. Okay. okay. We should cut the very beginning because your thumb is on the thing. Ooh.